Hello everyone and welcome back to A Hat in Time. In this part we are going to free roam because all that's left is the the um purple. I was going to call it the pink rift again. The purple rift. So uh, one of the harder ones in this the area to find you start off from free roam. Um, first one was start up from windmill. Second one was twilight bell. This one you start up from free roam giving you right into the dead center on goat village and you Oh yeah, showing off our new colors. Look to the right. And there it is. Making it one of the easier ones to get to. Oh yes, we do not have our hookshot on. We should, we should probably put that back on. Wow. Welcome to Alpine Skyline Time Rift. So these uh, gems aren't quite uh, set up yet. And it's a nice, calming looking place. I don't know how many pictures there are in this one, uh, but I can tell you we're probably going to fail at getting at least one of them. Um, but I mean, like last time, we'll walk through the entire thing and then uh, I will cut back. There, look at that. We almost missed this one right down here. But that's because that's really out of the way. There's only five in this guy, though, so um, as long as we're very thorough, we shouldn't miss them because it should only be like one, maybe two per area. So, first one's open, let's head in. And I could have already missed it at this point. So, some stuff up there. It looks like it's raining, or at least it's supposed to look like it's raining. Uh, something up there, something over there. And it does seem we are going to need, not our, um, I don't think our umbrella is going to be as helpful this time around. So, we will take advantage of oops, our double jump and our hook shot. Yeah, one out of five for these the papers. Uh, um, oh, all right, we're fixed from that. Up our king pawn or crown pawn, or whatever these things are called. But yeah, every once in a while, uh, since the like 1.0 update, yeah, I get frozen in place, which is just weird. And lo kind of locks me, unable to change poses. Ah, uh, that right there. Th that right up there looks like our picture. Um, so, let's head back. Fortunately, going down is a lot easier than going up. So, we want to go... Oh! Everywhere there's those things, be careful for the evil cats to, who are just going to rob you. 100% uh, of the time. I'm a little scared we have yet to come across uh, any papers, so I'm thinking they might be up top-ish. I also hate when they hit me. I'm glad if they don't steal my hat. Um, we'll head up here. That is everything I can see. Uh, short of it being hidden really, really well around the corner, uh, I'm, we're gonna have to make do with that. So none in this part. That is very worrisome. Very weird. I don't know if there's been any that just have zero in them. I check around the back, even then. Alright, so we may have missed one already. But, there's the exit. Four is required. Or four are required in either case. We're gonna just start by going as high as possible heal up too. Very nice. But, I mean, even if there isn't a pawn here, it could have the last picture. Though, that sparkle over there is definitely more of the uh, picture-looking sparkle than the other one. Nothing seems to be overhidden in this area. That's, that's my strategy. Oh, 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 oh. Nope. Alright. So 
So we have enough to open it, but we still want to get up on top of this area. Oh, and there's a little step here, which will aid us in getting up there. Uh, I can't see if there's another step we're supposed to be using. I guess let's use this fire tree. Uh, that looks like enough of a step to me. No, oh, we're not making it. Let's go after that, but no. Where is this piece that we're missing for this jump? It's just there's a chance of it working. Ooh, what does Kid's Hat do in this one? It shows us the exit, I think. Is there a way to jump, like, in the center of this thing, or on these pegs, maybe? No, we definitely go through the pegs. And I didn't see anywhere higher to jump off of except for way up there. Um, this might take a bit longer to figure out. So I did hear a chilling. Is that... Well, alright then. Hello, Lava. Goodbye, Lava. Puts us back right at the beginning, but fortunately, we will have the advantage of already knowing where this guy is. Oh, don't fall between those two bales or you get stuck and teleported back. Not what I was expecting. Yeah, we already know where that first one is. It shouldn't take too long for that. Next, second area. We've been through this one too. Um, we didn't see any pictures. And looking around, it still looks like that's the case. Uh, I'm really hoping if we did miss one, that's the benefit of that death we just got. But I'm, I'm severely doubting it. So we got one. I don't need to go to that center part. We have to go there at the end anyways. So... Watch out for the uh, cats. They're everywhere right now. See, robbed twice, but they didn't attack me. So that actually surprised me a bit, because the first time I thought they came into them, they attacked me a lot. So. Oh, this guy has it as part of them. Uh, yeah, we, st we already did up there, so it's just a matter of heading up to the door. Nothing hidden behind this one. And we move on to the second area, which, there's the exit. Meaning we, we're pretty locked in having to go this way. For at least the start. Uh, we're actually going to follow it along this way this time. We didn't do this last time, but... Aww. The evil crows are still here. So, we were going to want to head up. Giant fires are not a topic of laughing to me, but um, I guess each their own. And we know there's something up top there. Uh, the issue being getting up top over there. Really glad I didn't just fall to my death at that point. Because uh, that would have been awkward. I still feel like this area should have been easier to get up to. Because um, we did come through the swing. Like, maybe, you know, even if I tried to jump it to, to make it up here, it's not going to work. Sorry, someone um, really, really wants to rev, rev their engine right now at like, eh, I guess it's only 10 p.m. But it's still, it's a bit annoying. I mean, yes, your car is loud. Oh, all right. See, we took so many tries at that before and just never succeeded. 
I'm really glad we got that one. Uh, I think we need one more, and I'm I'm liking this guy over there. So we got it, we've now got enough, we can escape as long as we can make it over there, which should be just right here. Um, that one on the top doesn't have the right glow, so I don't think it's going to be one of the pictures. But here is the next area. This looks like partially Twilight Bell area. Which means I should pull out my Dweller's Mask, I will probably need it. And I'm glad it's telling me every time that I can use Shift to use my ability, no matter which uh, item I'm using. Oh! It should tell me, you will fall to your death if you miss a jump, because well, that, at least, I also knew, but uh, is more important. So we need four uh, Crown Pawns, King Pawns, whatever I feel like calling them at the time. They do have an official name, I just never remember them. Um, oh, and there's another. We gotta go up there. You can see it right there. Uh, not the brewing hat, but there's our one of our pictures. So, let's head up as high as we can get right now, which I don't think we can get up on top of the air twice. So I don't know why I'm trying. Uh, round three of that same jump. I am worried about uh, running out of health and dying and having to restart this again. Because that second area didn't have anything really too important, but it had something annoying in the fact that if we fall and die, we still have to go redo it. Which, I mean, probably more pressing matters than if we died. But still. Very, very happy we just barely made that. Oop, oop. Alright, and we have another pawn over here. Beautiful, beautiful waterfall. Um, where else can I go from here? I guess down there. Oh, there's a waterfall here. Uh, and a platform down here, so let's step on the platform, and pick up another of the pictures. We'll head back up and make our jump. We've got three out of five now. Uh, I don't know if we're supposed to have four, uh, if we did miss one in that first area, or even that second area. I didn't look the second half of it too thoroughly. But, I don't know, I feel like we didn't miss anything in that uh, first area. And we've already seen there's one more in this area, uh, way up top. Sweet, we're back up to full. Um, Alright, so we can gears, and it looks like we can go up a little bit further with gears. Just gotta make sure to up, up and around. And there, we've gotten enough, we can open the door. Uh, now the fun part is getting to the next point. Oh, up there was not the solution. But it feels like it, it should be, because I've got to get up higher. And the only place higher from the gears was where we just jumped to. Also, I hate things that spin in a circle when I'm trying to do platforming and it messes with my camera. Like, no, I'm supposed to be the one messing with the camera, not you. Whoa. For example, I have no idea how that worked. Um, but it worked, so I guess, yay. Uh, jumping over there is probably not going to work. Uh, getting extra height, not really plausible there. I guess let's go on to this waterway. If we can get up this area. Yep. So, the waterway was the way up. Um, another pond. We've got enough to open the door, so I'm not really going to stress out on those. Let's just follow along this way. Because we do want to get that thing. Uh, the picture over here. The, the issue being, um, 
it's a pretty risky business trying to make this jump. Or not at all. Um, fine. That was a pawn I didn't want to risk before. I was worried. Alright, checking out the outside over here. Nothing. Into this area, which is the last area. Which means we did, in fact, miss a piece. I'm going to get the timepiece in either case, and we will do a bonus episode where it will have what these two ones, the books, are supposed to look like, because I do already have to backtrack for the Battle of the Birds one. Um, so I will do both of them pretty much back to back uh, as the quote unquote last episode. But there, we have gotten timepiece 39, Alpine Skyline is all clear, leaving just the one on the ship that I'm not sure is which. Yeah, we're missing one. Twilight Ascent. Well, we don't know what exactly happened there. Reroll, what's next? Oh, you know what? Yes, claim that prize. I like it. It's a nice little um, flower on it. Looks very nice. But that's it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching A Hat in Time. We finished up the Alpine Skyline. All that's left is we have a single timepiece on the ship. And then the finale. See you guys then.